Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on JFET series and here we will be discussing what is called transfer characteristics curve. It is also called transconductance curve and it is also known as device characteristic curve. So the curve looks like this. Now let's just compare the transistor and uh, FET. Uh, they all both have uh, three legs. We are familiar with the BJT characteristics, but the JFET characteristics are different. This is the drain current. Now drain current ID is equal to IDSS. Uh, IDSS is the uh, drain current when drain to source current when uh, gate voltage is shorted and this 1 minus Vg over Vp whole square. Now this whole square uh, actually dictates the behavior of the curve and because it is an a square therefore the curve will be non-linear. Also Id that is the drain current is equal to source current and Ig that is the gate current is 0. Now this equation that we just discussed, uh, note here that Vg and Id, these are the two uh, variables, Idss is fixed uh, for a particular circuit uh, or a particular transistor and Vp is also fixed. That is why Vg is called the control variable, it controls uh, the uh, behavior of JFT. And this curve, as we mentioned, is known as the transconductance curve or the transfer curve. So we'll discuss as how to draw this curve because the transfer curve receives extended use in the analysis. So subsequently when we analyze JFT circuit, uh, this curve will be extensively used. Now obtaining the transfer curve from the drain characteristics curve. So we have already learned the drain characteristics curve. This is drain characteristics curve. And one method of obtaining the transconductance curve is from this curve. Now look here, the ID scale is same in both the uh, graph we have selected. And on the uh, base we, have, we are selecting these voltages. Vg0, Vg-1, Vg-2, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so this is Vg and this is Id. So one of the technique is that we first of all extend this line, so this will be our starting point Idss, this will be the starting point and then for minus Iv we again extend and also from bottom minus uh, VGS we extend. So minus VGS from here extended and minus VGS from here extended and wherever they cut we put a dot. And similarly the other ones minus 2, minus 2, minus 3 uh, here and minus 3 and then for uh, minus 4 we have the a current is zero, so it is at the base. So this is the curve which will uh, uh, finally, when we draw it, will look like this. So this is one of the method of uh, drawing transconductance curve. The other method could be that we simply plug in uh, several values in this formula, the Shockley's equation, and so putting like VGS is equal to zero, then VGS is equal to VP, and VGS equal to minus 1, we, we get these values of ID and we can uh, plot it. Now there is a shortcut method which is uh, important. And the shortcut method, first of all we mark these two axes. Uh, let's see here. So this is the ID axis and this is the VG axis. So the first point is here, when VG is 0, ID will be ID axis. So we mark that. The second point is when VP, uh, when ID is 0, now we come down here, now ID is 0, then VGS will be equal to VP, which is minus 4 in this case. So we, so we mark 
these two points and then we we could calculate this value from here putting uh, VGS to be one half of the pinch voltage. So this is pinch, uh, the pinch voltage VP. So we can take this point half of pinch voltage that is minus 2 and the relation now will be if you put half of it VG is half of VP and we calculate then the relation between ID uh, and uh, IDS is this relation that ID will be IDS is 4. Now let's, let's see from this graph. Minus 4, we take half of it, so we are at minus 2 and ID will be how much? IDSS over 4. Now IDSS is 8 divided by 4, so it will be 2. So this 2 here and this 2 gives us one of the points. So let's draw that. So uh, half VP, IDSS by 4 and so we get this point and similarly we have taken half of BP now we will take half of IDSS which is which will be 4 and again we can calculate from this formula but we just simply if we remember that when ID is half then this will be 0 0.3 of VP so 0 0.3 of uh, minus 4 will be 1 point something here and we connect the two points. So we have four points and we know the graph is non-linear therefore we can draw the graph. So we'll follow this method. Now let's do an example. Sketch the transfer curve defined by IDS is equal to 12 milliampere and VP is equal to minus 6. So we'll just follow the shortcut method here. First of all, we uh, have to remember these formulas. So, first one, when VGS is 0, ID is IDSS. So, when VGS is 0, ID is 12. In this case, IDSS is 12 to 12. That means, when we are here, at this point, then we mark the ID point to be 12. And the second point was when ID is 0, that was when we are here, how much is VG? It is VP and VP is minus 6, so we mark a point here at minus 6. The two points are marked and then now these two points, VGS is VP by 2, that means we are here at 3. Then ID will be IDS by 4. So IDS by 4 from this formula, IDS by 4 will be 3 milliampere. So 3 volt and 3 milliampere intersection, so we get this point. And now the third point when IDS is half, so IDS is half, then VP will be 0 0.3. So IDS is 6 milliampere from here and VGS will be 0 0.3 VP, that is 0 0.3 of minus 6 that is minus 1.8, so minus 1.8. So this is our fourth point and we connect, uh, we know it's non-linear, therefore this is the graph. So this is how you draw the transfer curve uh, uh, if the parameters are given. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.